Here comes the Arctic cold settling in across central and eastern Kentucky. I'm tracking the big temperature drop coming up. While it didn't stick around long, snow caused several problems in Scott County as drivers experienced several slick spots along the interstate. A group working to open a homeless shelter in Jessamine County has run into an issue. We'll tell you about the problem and how it can be solved. WKYT News starts now with First Alert Weather. The snow, at least for now, finally moving out of the state, and now the Arctic air is settling in. The temperatures are expected to dip into the single digits overnight, and it could feel even colder. WKYT Chief Meteorologist Chris Bailey is tracking the temperatures in the First Alert Weather Center. Chris? Yeah, thank you, winds, right? We've had those gusts pretty much on and off all day long. At times, during the heart of those that squall line of snow, we had 45 to 50 mile per hour wind gusts when it was snowing into parts of central Kentucky. That was wild. That mess is now well off to our south and southeast. That's the Arctic front responsible. And here comes the Arctic cold that is funneling in behind it. Temperatures continue to drop from north to south very quickly. 20 into Covington, down to 28 right now. Lexington to our northwest, 26 for Frankfort and Louisville, yet still into the upper 30s across far southeastern Kentucky. The winds, you talked about the wind chill. Well, it feels like it is 15 right now, and that number is going to continue to drop. We'll see single digit wind chills similar to what they're seeing into Covington showing up over the next few hours, and some negative numbers may show up on the old wind chill index later tonight and tomorrow morning. Defender radar network up close and personal across central and eastern Kentucky. Still a couple of snow Snowflakes, big sandy valley over toward parts of the hazard area into Perry County. Out and about this evening, it's dry, it is cold, and it is windy as temperatures drop into the teens. So that is headlining the looking ahead part of the program. Mark to cold overnight. Weekend rolls around with another system similar to what we had last weekend. A little rain to snow, and oh yeah, bitterly cold temperatures are going to be following that one up. But again, out and about this evening with those numbers dropping through the teens very quickly. Chris, thank you. Now, most of this morning's snow fell north and east of Lexington. In Scott County, schools were closed for the second straight day. The snow also caused slick spots, causing several crashes, including a five car pileup. WKYT's Hillary Thornton continues our team coverage in Georgetown. Roadways are looking good now after heavy snowfall created a mess out here, keeping first responders busy throughout the morning especially out here along the interstate. Officials with the Scott County Road Department say they started monitoring the weather around 4 o'clock this morning. Work for the road crews and first responders really picked up around 10 o'clock as the snow came down heavily for about two hours covering the roadway. The northern part of the county seeing a little more than one inch with roadways covered in parts and patches of ice popping up. Some drivers did experience problems on both Interstate 64 and 75. Police worked multiple crashes there, including a five vehicle pileup that kept traffic backed up into Fayette County for several hours. The weather was the determining factor of this one. Uh, I think from the most part from what we've watched, people have been slowing down quite a bit. But uh, to get that false sense of security, it just looks like just regular water on the ground. It gets iced and slick and they lose control quick. And crews say they are concerned with forecasts indicating temperatures dropping into the teens overnight and into the morning, leading to the possibility of this all freezing over. They say they will be on standby through the night to monitor any problem spots. In Scott County, Hillary Thornton, WKYT. That five vehicle crash did send one person to the hospital. They are expected, though, to be okay. The snow was heavier just north of Kentucky. High winds and low visibility are blamed on a 40 vehicle pileup on I 74 near the Ohio Indiana border. Police say the chain reaction crash began when a semi jackknife during a snow squall. Only minor injuries were reported in the crash. Part of the interstate is still closed tonight. Although we're not looking at much more snow, the cold temperatures are sticking around for a bit. And volunteers with the Catholic Action Center will be back out tonight starting at 7 o'clock to check on those that need a warm place to stay. Volunteers with the Compassion Caravan will give the homeless free rides to a shelter or supplies to survive the cold if they don't want to go. And to get the phone number for the Compassion Caravan, simply go to WKYT.com.
And a group is working to open a homeless shelter in Jessman County. They've come up with two possible locations for that new shelter, but there's one roadblock in their way. Our Mike Byer talked to those involved about the problem and how it can be solved in a story that's new at 5. We are the biggest populated county in the state of Kentucky right now without either an emergency or a transitional homeless center. Jessamine County has a homeless population of just over 100 who struggle to stay warm when it's dangerously cold outside. We cannot turn a blind eye to this no more. That's where Johnny Templin comes in. They get a thing of crackers. When Templin isn't running the Walking with Love food pantry in Nicholasville, he, along with two nonprofits and 10 churches, have been trying to open a permanent homeless shelter. It would be called the Jessamine County Coalition of the Homeless. They're eyeing two locations for the homeless shelter, with one of those spots being right here at 912 Main Street. However, he says the building that would be more ideal would be in this building behind me at 218 East Maple Street. There's only one problem with this plan. There's literally not a place to put technically a homeless center in, in Nicholasville under the current code ordinance. A roadblock that Templin says can be cleared. The city can just literally say that they'll, that they'll allow it in a certain area. Templin says it's a decision that could save many lives. It's very important. I challenge anybody that doesn't believe that to spend an evening with me and I'll show them right here in town. In Nicholasville, Mike Byer, WKYT. Templin says they'll try to get it approved at the next city council meeting, which is in two weeks. He says if they get the okay, the goal is to have that shelter open by the end of March. And you can track the snow and traffic conditions with the WKYT Weather Plus traffic app. You can download that for free from the app or Google Play stores. A teacher's aide was killed in a single vehicle crash. Our county by county coverage begins in Whitley County. Deputies say 59 year old Sandra Petrie was driving southbound on US 25 when a car in front of her slowed down to turn. When she swerved to avoid a crash, her car went over an embankment and landed in a wooded area. School officials say Petrie was a dedicated member of Whitley Central Intermediate School. Loved the kids. She loved doing things for the kids. Uh, she was here early. She stayed late every day making sure that the kids had everything they needed. Uh, everything was planned and ready for them. Deputies do not believe drugs or alcohol played a role in that crash. In Fleming County, we now know the cause of a fire that left one man dead and a woman with serious injuries. The home on Gully Drive in Flemingsburg caught fire yesterday. Kentucky State Police say 76 year old Kenneth Wayne Hester was loading something into a wood burning stove when it sparked the fire. He was found dead inside the home. 67 year old Lena uh, was flown to UK hospital for treatment. She was last listed in fair condition. And in Rockcastle County, inmates have started moving back into the jail after it was damaged by a fire just before Christmas. The assistant jailer says inmates started moving back into the Rockcastle County Jail on Friday. Jail officials say an inmate started the fire because of an argument over what to watch on TV. The inmates were temporarily moved to Laurel County. 33 have since moved back to Rockcastle County. They hope to move the remaining inmates back over the next month. It seems everyone is just going crazy for tomorrow night's Powerball drawing with the biggest jackpot in the history of the world up for grabs. The jackpot has soared to one and a half billion dollars with a cash option of 930 million. But that's expected to go up again before the drawing with more people buying tickets. No one has won the Powerball since early November. And we will air tomorrow night's drawing at 1059 live right here on WKYT. There will be an audience of people watching just for that. Indeed there will be. The Wildcats will return to a Rupp Arena tonight after playing the last two games on the road. UK taking on Mississippi State tonight. Rob Bromley joins us live now from Rupp Arena with a preview of the game. Hi Rob. Hello Sam, hello Amber, and the Cats now looking to get on a run after that disappointing loss at LSU one week ago tonight. Kentucky really came back strong over the weekend down at Alabama. Ty Winyard, now you've heard that name a lot over the last few weeks. Winyard arrived at UK back in December, has yet to play. He is a big body, should be able to help this team. Winyard's dad was a champion wood shopper in New Zealand, so he knows all about being strong. But his dad also taught him to have a strong mind. 
I guess it's all in the mind, you know. Um, that's what my dad has taught me my whole life, you know. It's 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 not really how you look, you know. Someone can have all the muscles and everything, but if they're not strong in the mind, then they're not going to be really strong, you know. So you can be physically strong in the weight room and stuff, but you can't, you won't always be strong on the court, you know what I mean? Kentucky and Mississippi State tonight here in Rupp Arena. It'll be a 7 o'clock tip off on ESPN. And just maybe we will see Ty Winyard here tonight play for the first time for the Wildcats. We'll have much more coming up shortly in sports. It's been a learning curve for Winyard since he came in back on December 18th. I'll be back in the next half hour for now. That's it from Rupp Arena. Sam Amber Becky. Thank you, Rob. And the Cats have won eight in a row over Mississippi State. The Bulldogs' last one in 2009. An Ohio teenager is dead after police say his father confused him for an intruder and shot him. The latest on that investigation in 12 minutes. Snows continue to work out of the bluegrass state. Now we're tracking Arctic cold heading into the overnight. And another batch shows up in your seven day forecast next. Young or old, all over Kentucky, we all stand for the same commonwealth. A commonwealth of families, natural beauty, and a pride in ourselves. I'm WKYT's Rebecca Smith, and I stand for Kentucky. Made in America means something to Toyota. And around here, made in America means made in Kentucky. Toyota has brought over 22,000 jobs here, investing nearly $6 billion in the Bluegrass State and building over 10 million Toyotas, including the bold 2016 Camry, with its aggressive style and the most advanced innovative features. That's Kentucky's own Toyota Camry. For all Toyota offers, including Camry, go to buyatoyota.com. Toyota, let's go places. Regain your bathing independence with One Day Bath by America's Window. Our walk-in tubs provide a safe and secure bathing experience with a low step-in and easy access. Hydrotherapy soothes muscles and improves circulation. Your walk-in tub can be installed in your existing bath space in as little as one day. Take advantage of our Winter Wonderland sale and get 60% off labor on your new walk-in tub with 100% financing and low monthly payments. Call right now. The flu virus hits big with aches, chills, and fever. There's no such thing as a little flu, and it needs a big solution, an antiviral. So when the flu hits, call your doctor right away and up the ante with antiviral Tamiflu. Prescription Tamiflu is an antiviral that attacks the flu virus at its source and helps stop it from spreading in the body. Tamiflu is FDA approved to treat the flu in people two weeks of age and older whose flu symptoms started within the last two days. Before taking Tamiflu, tell your doctor if you're pregnant, nursing, have serious health conditions, or take other medicines. If you develop an allergic reaction, a severe rash, or signs of unusual behavior, stop taking Tamiflu and call your doctor immediately. Children and adolescents in particular may be at an increased risk of seizures, confusion, or abnormal behavior. The most common side effects are mild to moderate nausea and vomiting. Anti-flu? Go antiviral with Tamiflu. Arby's Mix and Match 2 for $5 is back. Mix and match two of these tasty things for just five. What the heck are those? Bacon, ranch, and cheddar on curly fries? Mmm. You should definitely get those for one of your tasty things. Then get another thing. But start with the loaded curly fries for sure. Arby's, we have the meat. WKYT First Alert Weather is brought to you by Cartown Kia. Now, your hour-by-hour -hour forecast with Chief Meteorologist Chris Bailey. Busy, busy day out there with those snow showers, squalls, gusty winds, 45 to occasional uh, pushing 50 miles per hour into parts of central Kentucky. Now we're getting in on the Arctic cold that is on the way into town. Let's take you back, though, this morning. Great-looking sky cam to basically illustrate how quickly those snow showers and squalls moved in. 8 o'clock, nothing. 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock, boom. All of a sudden, we started to see that first round here in Lexington. Notice how everything uh, covered up very quickly, including some roads. By 11, we were starting to get a little break in the action. That carried us until the afternoon. And this looks like a thunderstorm moving in, doesn't it? It had the same principles of a thunderstorm for the wintertime version of it. We had air that was quickly rising, 
by 1230. That was that squall that was moving on through here, producing blinding snows and winds that clocked in at right at 45 miles per hour officially in Lexington. Then as quickly as it hit, what does the thunderstorm do? It moves on away, leaving us with a sky this afternoon that if you didn't know any better, you were just looking at that sky, it kind of looked like a springtime setup. Now we're seeing more in the way of a cold look in that sky. 28 degrees, feels like it is 15 with a wind coming at us from the west and the northwest, ushering in even colder air. So it feels like 15 Lexington, yet the wind chill into Covington is down at 3 degrees. We're going to keep dropping as we go through the evening as well with those west to northwesterly breezes ushering in even colder air. Look at the difference here from Covington to Dayton. 10 degrees in Dayton. 14 Indy, Windy City of Chicago is at 9 degrees. That cold air continues to filter on in across the Bluegrass State. At least it's a colder, uh, it is a colder brand of air, but it's a drier brand as well. A little bit of light snow still southeastern Kentucky, but the Arctic cold air mass is settling on in for the day tomorrow. We'll start things out into the high teen or high single digits to low teens, depending on where you are. Colder north in the south, obviously. Tomorrow afternoon, 25 to 30 into most areas. Then let's hit the fast forward button. Thursday's your good day. We go into Friday, low pressure right on top of the area again. You know what that is going to spell? Rain. And then as it goes by, switch over to some light snow or snow showers into early in the day on Saturday. Doesn't look like a ton at all. Looks like a, maybe a little light accumulation on Saturday. In between systems, early in the day on Sunday, similar to what we had today, we get another Arctic front in here on Sunday. That will usher in even colder air for later Sunday and into the first part of next week. The hits, they just keep on coming. Remember back in December, I mean, this was the warmest December on record locally and for the eastern half of the country. The pattern just flipped on a dime as we flip the calendar into January. So we're seeing one of the great all-time pattern flips ever across the country. Absolutely incredible, guys. One extreme to the other, and you see that extreme coming up next week with the possibility again of some single digit lows. I love when we do great things. I'm just not sure what to celebrate this I mean, one, We're right? setting all kinds of record highs back in yeah. December. Seems like last year at this point, huh? We're just keeping with the theme, yeah. right? Here we are. Chris, thank you. Overall traffic view looks about normal with some slowdowns we would expect, like on Harrodsburg Road approaching the Circle and on the inner loop of the Circle at Purcells Road. We've been working several collisions, now most is cleared. Uh, Nicholas Hill Road at Lowry, still a couple of lanes blocked there uh, as they get the rest of that out of the way. And then at Newtown Pike near I-75, a couple of vehicles on the shoulder. Of course, game tonight, downtown's going to be impacted near Rupp. Drive times, you can see, no surprises standing out. Looks like a decent ride to Nicholasville, Versailles, and Paris. Now back to the studio. Thank you, Don. A historic day on Capitol Hill as the president delivers his final State of the Union address. That's coming up. Get weather plus traffic with a WKYT weather app. Have the Defender Radar Network in the palm of your hand while checking your driving conditions for your commute on the same screen. Weather plus traffic on the WKYT weather app. With savings up to half off, as much as $1,000 in cash rewards, and door busters all through the store, how can our deal of the decade get any better? By giving you zero interest for 48 months with no money down. Hurry. Nobody beats the rest. In 1934, Steak and Shake decided the world didn't need another hamburger. They needed a steak burger, so they used 100% beef. Quick sear to seal in the flavor. You'll only get from a steak burger. Steak and Shake, home of the original steak burger. Give me fuel, give me fire, give me that which I desire. Ooh. This winter, give snow and ice a swift kick to the curb in a Dodge with all-wheel drive. Now, during the auto show, returning FCA US lessees can get 6,500 total cash allowance on the 2016 Dodge Journey RT. The bathroom is one of the most dangerous places in the home. So call One Day Bath by America's Window for a safe and secure way to bathe with a new walk-in tub. During our Winter Wonderland sale, get big savings with 60% off labor on your new walk-in tub. These savings are only for a limited time, so act now. Visit us at our showroom here in Lexington at 1190 East New Circle Road and browse 14 baths and showers on display.
Regain your bathing independence with a new walk-in tub. With a low step-in, you have easy access and the grab bar provides extra support. You can enjoy a hydrotherapy warm water massage with just a touch of a button. Or check out new easy access showers installed in as little as one day. And remember, during our Winter Wonderland sale, get 60% off labor on your new walk-in tub. With 100% financing and low monthly payments, call now for your new walk-in tub and these big savings. Call one 800 8 6-1-4-1-53. What do these women have in common? They are the staff of Ageless Medical Weight Loss. They've lost a combined 1,300 pounds. The team at Ageless will understand your struggles and celebrate your victories. For a medically supervised, affordable weight loss solution, call Ageless today for a free consultation. Don't pay over $1,000 for this Whirlpool Cabrio High Efficiency Washer Dryer Pair at Lowe's when they're just $4.49 each at P-Rats. Get zero interest for 18 months on TVs and appliances. Hurry and get the deal of the decade. Nobody beats P-Rats. Jeopardy has clues straight from the horse's mouth. Horse help from the equine facilities at UC Davis. We'll see if their needs and complaints are so different from ours. On Jeopardy. Jeopardy, tonight at 7.30 on WKYT. Keep up with the latest news on WKYT.com. Join the conversation on Twitter and become a part of the WKYT Facebook family. President Obama is set to deliver his final State of the Union address to Congress and the American people. He wants to begin the final months of his presidency on an optimistic note. Karen Kafa takes a look at what we can expect tonight. I want to identify three or four big ideas. It is the final time President Obama will perform this Washington ritual. As such, it will be different than years past. He wants to talk about the future of this country. He's very optimistic about the future of this country. But Republicans are not as optimistic as seen on the presidential campaign trail. And getting much done with a GOP-controlled Congress is unlikely. I don't think the president has brought us in the right direction. I think he's put us down a dangerous path. And we need to get on the other path. So in an interview with NBC's Today Show, the president suggested his speech may be aimed less at Congress and more at those watching at home. But there's no doubt that uh, politics in Washington are so much more divided than the American people are. The president will likely highlight economic recovery and seek to calm fears about ISIS and the threat of domestic terrorist acts like San Bernardino. Last week, the president outlined executive actions on gun control, and he may act alone to fulfill another longtime goal, closing the military prison at Guantanamo Bay, Cuba. Tonight's speech, a rough draft of sorts of how he plans to wind down his administration. As for the final draft of that address... The president typically uh, uh, is working on this uh, on, the, on the State of the Union um, you know, pretty close to the, up to the last minute, and I would anticipate that that will be true uh, this year as well. In Washington, I'm Karen Kafa. WKYT has learned two Kentuckians will be in the audience tonight. One is Round County Clerk Kim Davis. She spent five days in jail for refusing to issue same-sex marriage licenses. No word on who invited her. And U.S. Senator Majority Leader Mitch McConnell invited a Pike County man who lost his job when a coal mine closed. Police say a teenager in Cincinnati is dead after his father confused him for a home invader and shot him. According to police, the boy skipped school and snuck back in his home through the basement. When the father heard a noise, he got a handgun and went into the basement. The boy startled his dad, and the gun went off, hitting the boy in the neck. He was taken to Cincinnati Children's Hospital, where he later died. The shooting remains under investigation. A brother and sister are in jail tonight, accused of passing multiple fake bills at a Laurel County store. More on that coming up on WKYT News at 530. Have something that needs investigating? Email us or call the WKYT Investigates tip line. Our cancer patients are really special people. They're determined, they're tough, and they're such wonderful people to care for. It's really great to offer patients the standard of care, but then we have trials so that we can also give them the cutting edge, where we explain to the patient this is the standard, but this might be even better. Because of the excellent work we do, we've received an outstanding award from the Commission on Cancer. I'm Dr. Hain, and we treat every one of our patients like family at Baptist Health. Two people can eat all this food for $9.99. And it's all my favorites. Yeah. Two conies or two burgers and two tots yep. and two drinks. Yeah. It's like I'm seeing double. Totally. Speaking of double, look, maybe they want to hang out. Yeah, I'll talk to them. Just be cool, I'll man. I'll be cool. No, you're I not going to be cool. cool. You're going to be cool. You guys want to hang out sometime? Oh, man. 
I think I nailed it. See and eat double. Two can eat for $9.99 all month long. And stop by for buy one, get one free wings on Monday nights. This is how you Sonic. Hi, I'm Coach Cal here with UK graduate Kim Kanoff of Sleep Outfitters. Sleep is a critical component of our athletic training at UK. And we're excited to announce that Sleep Outfitters is now the official sleep provider of the University of Kentucky Athletics. We're celebrating by offering exclusive UK Champions Collection mattresses and pillows. See the UK Champions Collection only at Sleep Outfitters. Look into the sky with all the beautiful color, but there's more than just for me, so gonna share it with another. I got to show, to give, let out, I want to sing and shout, take a look and say, oh, oh, oh. The average person takes five to 8,000 steps per day, working, exercising, going about the day. High-tech artificial limbs keeps you moving comfortably. You can choose who helps you walk in the right direction. Time is running out to call One Day Bath by America's Window for big savings during our Winter Wonderland sale. We've had a great response from homeowners in Lexington and Central Kentucky. For a limited time, get 60% off labor on your new walk-in tub. Come visit us at our showroom at 1190 East New Circle Road in the big yellow building you can't miss. We have 14 bath and shower designs on display. Our walk-in tubs provide a safe and enjoyable bathing experience with a low threshold, chair height seat, grab bars, and beneficial hydrotherapy from walk-in tubs to walk-in showers installed in as little as one day. Remember, last chance during this program to call during our Winter Wonderland sale for 60% off labor on your new walk-in tub with 100% financing and low monthly payments. Lexington area homeowners, time is running out to get these special savings. 1-800-861-4153. It is time now for better living, health, education, and consumer news that impacts your life. It is not news that what you eat can affect how you feel, but when you suffer from rheumatoid arthritis, it could make a big difference. Holly Furfer takes a look at some of the foods that can ease some of the symptoms. Most anyone suffering from rheumatoid arthritis will tell you they will do or try just about anything to relieve that pain. One way is through what you eat. Although there is no specific diet to treat RA, there are foods known to reduce inflammation, which doctors say may help. First, go with at least three to four ounces of fish twice a week. They're rich in omega-3 fatty acids, which fight some of those proteins in your body that cause inflammation. Okay, beans are loaded with fiber, which helps reduce a protein in the body that can cause that inflammation. They also help build muscle, which helps support the joints affected by RA. And remember when mom wouldn't let you leave the table without eating your broccoli? Well, she really cared for you because fruits and vegetables are great sources of antioxidants, which can also reduce inflammation. Refined sugar, the kind in donuts, cookies, candy, brownies, ice cream, basically all the stuff that tastes really good, really not good for you. Chronic inflammation can interfere with the body's ability to break down sugars. That can lead to weight gain, which puts pressure on the joints and can lead to other health issues like diabetes and heart disease. For today's Health Minute, I'm Holly Furfer. Doctors say another tip is remember some medications used to treat RA can cause you to retain water, so try to limit your salt intake as well. We have a recall alert for a common children's medication. Nine over-the-counter drug retailers, including CVS, Rite Aid, and Kroger, are recalling two flavors of children's liquid cold medicine because of a potential overdose risk. The products are sold nationwide under a variety of names. They're being pulled because dose cups have incorrect markings, which could make the chance of overdosing higher. For more information on a list of recalled products, visit our website, WKYT.com. Studies show that exposure to blue light from your electronic screens in the evening can make it harder for you to fall asleep. Apple is responding by adding a night shift mode in their next update. The new mode will automatically change the colors on devices to warmer colors, making it easier on your eyes at night. The system will use a clock and geolocation to figure out when the sun sets in your area. It will return to regular settings in the morning. For more health, education, and consumer news, just go to WKYT.com and click on Better Living. Now, here's what's coming up at 530.